Part 10, vertical spacers and open segments. Here's a project I haven't worked on before. Shown in the layer tuner and the first thing I need to do is worry about the walls and a little bit about the, the shape of the project. I've got a little bit of an inflection down here I don't like. So I'm going to switch it over to the project detail view and I'm going to take layer 10 and make it a little bit larger and also layer 11 that's better now let's fix up the walls see here that layer 2 needs a little bit more thickness that fixed that up that looks rather good I think I'll make the fairing on uh, layer 11 just a little bit better. Something more like that. <clears throat> so there's my project. And we want to do open segments or vertical spacers. There's really not much difference between the two. Program street treats them both the same. The difference is the gap material is air in one case. In the other case, it's some other solid substance. One other minor little difference is that the miter angle is different between the two. If you're using vertical spacers, then the miter angle of the normal segment does not change. If you're using open segments, then the miter angle changes a little bit so that the sides of the segment point directly to the center of the object. So I will start here in layer 2. We're going to leave layer 1 as solid. as something to keep the project in one piece pop-up menu, designers, <coughs> and we will go to open segments. So in layer two, my default gap width here is a quarter inch. You can express it either as size, in this case inches or millimeters if you're talking about metric system, or percentage of the size of the segment itself. So we'll make it 50% the segment. That's the biggest it can be. And by default, in fact, the only way you do open segments is you either do the layer in open segments or you don't. So there it is. And just to show that we do have open segments versus real colors, we'll, we'll use Alder to color that layer. So that's the open segment itself. Now I can copy these down through the rest of the project. We've got uh, a total of 12 layers, and we're going to two of them we're not going to do. So we're going to copy nine more layers. So from the edit menu, we're going to copy layers. Spacers and open segments is what we're going to copy. It will copy from layer two. And we'll do nine layers. And let's paint the background while we're at it. <clears throat> so you can see they're all there. Okay. We've left the top and the bottom solid, something to hold the whole thing together. <clears throat> now we can we could have done this instead with vertical segments, so vertical spacers. As a matter of fact, I can change the vertical spacers going to be vertical spacers. And we will do it in layer... Th well, it's, it's doing it for layer 8. I th must have moved the cursor too fast. Gap width is 50%. We'll keep that that way. And this is 18 segments per side. And we'll put a, a spacer in between every gap, and we'll make it a complex spacer. It'll be a two by two checkerboard. If we save that, <clears throat> then those open spaces became vertical spacers, and the design in this case is in the spacer rather than in the segment. Could have been the other way around just as easily. Let's do that again. Layer four, we'll pick the vertical spacer. Uh, it is layer 4. 
we'll cut it to 25 percent and instead of that we will use solid color we'll do walnut save that so you can flip up, flip up your way back and forth and with spacers you don't have to have one in between every segment in this case it's one between every other segment I believe what did I do well we'll do one every other we'll do it nine instead there so you can see we have regular segments and we have spacers in between every other one <clears throat> every second one so that's vertical spacers and open segments